This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Aftermath of a brilliant win for Kel Brook. Um, the Calm Brook saga is over and you ended it in some fashion. Did you expect that, Kel? I did expect that, yeah, I did. I've always, I've always expected that for over a decade, you know. But um, I'm just so happy that the, the fans have turned out. I'm happy that, you know, that they got to see it. And it's it's the fight that I've always wanted, you know. And it, you know, I can I can ch I can actually call the chapter now on the Amir Khan situation, you know, because um, we've we've done it, we've done it tonight. Got the got the victory, got the you know stopped him in the sixth round. I'm pleased. Opening couple of rounds were very entertaining, but you know the first time you significantly landed on him, you could see the effect it had on him. Um, was it difficult not to just jump on him and, and get a bit reckless and try and finish him early? Like I said, you know, there were a lot of motion in the in the fight build up and you know, I've just got to stay professional which I did and you know, I could have really like jumped in and been raged and you know, and I could have walked on to one myself, you know, so I just I just when I knew that when I knew I could hurt him, I just knew it were a matter of time, you know, it, 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 you know, he never recovered from the first round. And uh, you know, I would have liked a more a clinical finish, but listen. You know we can we can shut the chapter now on, on the on the Khan story. You know I think you know everybody knows now who the better fighter is. And uh, and yeah, you know I'm just I'm just I'm just happy that nobody can come up to me and say when I'm a fighter, they'll just probably say to me now from now on. You know and they love the fight. You know and that's what that's what I wanted. That's what I've always wanted to give them. Perfect stoppage from the referee. Yeah, I think it perfect stoppage. You know if he would have got through that. That round, you know, it were it, it were downhill from him. You know, I think it were evident that, that he could see that. You know, he started slowing down. He's, he's well known for his speed. You know, a few rounds before that, he started to slow down, and I think that it were just gonna it were gonna end in a in a, in a Canelo finish in my in my opinion. Kurt, what was going on before the fight? There was rumours going on the fight might not take place because of a glove situation. So just give me your take on that, please. You know, the, I, I like I like me fly gloves. You know, that's what I've been training in, in and that's what my hands are comfortable. I'm not in. I'm not where I've been wearing the grand glove, you know. So you know, even at the last final hour, we got into the ring and I had to take my gloves off and put them on. Also said that you know, basically I won't get paid. You know, that's these are the, the things what's been happening in the contracts, you know, as well. As, but end of the day, I did I did everything what they said in that contract, and uh, and it's all over. And I can shut I can shut the chapter. Shut the chapter on the on the on the, on the Khan situation. Kel, 15 years of bitterness. Uh, tonight we saw respect. You guys kind of embraced, shook hands, had good words for each other, um, and also you did ping him with straight rights. Um, you know he was staggered all over the ring, but he didn't go down. So surely there's some respect for him there now. Yeah, that's that's what I said. I went over to him. I gave him that respect. You know, because he, he took some big shots in there, and you know the respect's obviously there. You know, and. Uh, Obviously, the weight off my shoulder and probably his shoulders over. We, we, you know, we just shook hands and we, could, we, could, we you know, we got the, res we, we shared the ring together. So the respect's there now, you know. And I've just seen him at the, the final press conference and we give each other a hug and you know, let bygones be bygones. I think now, yeah. And just lastly, obviously, this moment is all about tonight and that spectacular win, but. Ultimately, you're going to do what you want to do, but there are some people saying, you know, go out and, and retire on that note, or there are people saying, you know, if you could perform like that, then why not start um, looking at world titles again? So, can you make any comment, please, Cal? Listen, I just think that um, obviously I'm, I'm still on a high, I'm going to sit down with my family, you know, and see what we want to do. You know, for me, I feel like I'm 23 year old again, I'm, I'm in shape, I've come back to the ring, I felt, I felt brilliant in there tonight, you know, so. The, for me, I can do more, but like I said, I don't want to get too crowded with him. I sit down with my family and, and just see what I want to do, just see what I want to do.